Welcome to Papalani's Ohana. This is the entrance to the Ohana. This uh, special kind of Japanese grass doesn't ever get too high here. This is a rock patio. And looking here at the avocado tree, there's lots of avocados hanging on it. It's a Sharwell avocado tree. And these avocados won't be ready for about four more months. So they've been on the tree for about five months so far. So this is terraced rocks with some squash plants on them. And all these rocks were placed here amongst the natural rock. I dug down to the natural rock, which is like right here. And then these other steps were placed here, so it'd be easy to move around this area. And here is my catchment tank for the house. It's actually cement on the inside, which is really nice, which makes alkaline water. And it's a rock, volcanic rock on the outside. There's the outdoor shower for the Ohana in the house, right there. And there's lots of orchids in that garden shower and other plants. So we're walking now up to the garden. This is sort of the view that you get from the Ohana. I'm not going to show you the Ohana because there's people living in there right now. But this is the past, present, and ooh, future beds of the gardens. And then when we move around here, this is the medicine wheel garden, which right now these pepper plants, <laughs> they're sweet pepper plants, but they are just going berserk. They're, um, they're flowering and they make these sweet little red peppers. Lots and lots and lots of them right now. These plants are huge. I don't know if I can find a red pepper for you. I have lots of people here now eating, but these plants are huge. Here's a kale and there's basil, pak choy. Just planted lots of little lettuces in here a couple days ago. This is Tokyo Benkata. We've got some tomatoes and some flowers. These edges are, are normally just flower beds that I try to support bees and the wildlife around here. Peppermint, which I can't seem to get rid of in these gardens. <laughs> More flowers. Some tatsoi. And this is a kind of Tulsi holy basil. We've got some lettuce going to seed here. This is actually a um, sun hemp gotten really healthy and tall. Got some other, um, some parsley and some other lettuces in here. More basil. Some more tomato plants. So this is the medicine meal garden. In the past bed here we, we've got some potatoes and lettuces and tatsoi and leeks. Parsley, kale, kale. These are a Christmas lima bean, and they are so incredibly delicious. They're a bean that you let grow on the vine until they dry on the vine. Somebody just picked them all, but here's a green bean, and they're like purple and white and big, and they don't really taste like lima beans to me. They're really delicious. They're not dry or anything. So, the um, squash and the beans pretty much take over everything if you don't pull them back every single day. This is a delicious Tulsi or holy basil that I make into a tea just every day. Take these tops off and make into a tea. It's very sod thick and balancing for the body. It's pretty much good for everything. We've got more kales and Tokyo Benkata lettuces. There's a bee. Lots and lots of pak choy down here. 
more lettuces. And down here is where all the beets are. And these are pretty new beets, but there's so many um, baby papaya trees trying to start in here, <laughs> which are probably overtaking the beets. The beets, something's eating them, eating the green part of the beet, darn it. This is uh, something I just discovered. It's called katuk, and it's absolutely delicious. To me, it tastes very nutty. It's a wonderful green. More tomatoes and um, squash, pumpkin squash. There's some cabbage down there. And here we have lots and lots and lots of papaya trees in here. And these are all volunteers. They're in the uh, what used to be the chicken yard. So they all volunteered in there from the chickens. And in this third bed, which I call the future bed, we've got some okra, basil, and holy huge, huge pak choy and lots of leeks, more okra. I just love, I think okra is so gorgeous and amazing. The plants don't look terribly healthy, the okra plants, but we just fertilized with lots and lots and lots of different nutrients, quail poo and all sorts of things. Um, here's some garlic chives too.